What is up guys and welcome back to another video. If you've been following the 3000 GT build, you'll know the next step and what I've been putting off is to refinish the brake calipers. Now I've got everything all laid out here in order to refinish these brake calipers and make them look brand new. Uh, so we'll run through that just real quick. A uh, little bit of masking materials, as I mentioned, we don't wanna get the pistons um, or any of the fittings, like uh, where we put the brake line, we don't wanna get any sand in there. So we're gonna be masking that stuff off. I will show you guys how to do that in just a second. Uh, we picked up some high temperature primer and some caliper paint. We decided to go with a nice gloss black. Um, we have a tack cloth here. This is good to do right before you paint anything, remove any little dust particles or anything like that. And we also have a scuffing pad. This is just for some small minor detail work if the sand blast or the alumina blast didn't really get in there. So we got a couple of those. I think that's pretty much all we're gonna need for this project. We are running a big sale right now on Stop Tech Parts. That's gonna be continuing until December 1st, so if you're interested, uh, go ahead, check them out. The link is in the description for that. Without further ado, I'll set the camera down and we'll mask these off and toss them into the sandblast cabinet. <laughs> off like I said it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna be cleaning everything very thoroughly but the most critical area is making sure that the the powder the media does not get into um, basically where the brake line bolts up so as long as there's no sand in the line itself we'll be okay um, everything else is just kind of visual inspection so we'll make sure we don't hit any of the areas by the piston if there's anything that's uh, you know in front of them or whatever um, so we've got our machine here this looks like a Rick mod here. Uh, it set is a up. Rick mod. That's a Rick mod. It is a Rick mod. Um, the setup to a shop vac, and we should have an air. Yep, the port here for the airline. So we're gonna go grab our regulator, hook this up, and unfortunately, this glass here, this plastic, is pretty foggy. And even though we do have a light. Um, you guys are not going to be, be able to see on camera. So I'll show you guys what they look like before and then I'll show you guys the process and I'll show you what they look like after. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow then it's not for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to make no time to wish. So this is what it looks like after just a few minutes. Um, it really did get off most of the, the grime on here and it looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna put it back in just to hit a couple spots. As I mentioned, it's a little bit cloudy so it's kind of hard to see exactly where you're shooting. But um, overall, that is way faster than doing it by hand or doing it with just a scotch spray and that surface is, is nice and rough so the primer has something to stick to. So let me toss it back in there just for a few minutes, hit a couple spots, and then we'll move on to the other three calipers. All right, so now that all four calipers are sandblasted, uh, I'll probably just clean them off with some soap and water and then we're ready for the primer step. Now, <laughs> I've mentioned this about 2,000 times if you've been watching our videos for a while, the prep work is the most important thing. So do not skimp out on the prep work, meaning the blasting, the primers, those types of things, because whenever you lay paint, it doesn't cover anything. Paint will never cover anything. Clear coat will never cover anything either. So 
These are looking pretty good. Let's move on to the next step. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wish. So I'm using acetone for me that seems to be the best thing to clean off surfaces prior to painting um, and this is the last step basically before you paint so I like to do this literally you know on the rack as I'm doing it now as opposed to doing it inside then using it you know walking around with your hands and stuff like that so I do this literally right before I'm about to paint freaking helicopters still count wins when they got it on record off record I let them take advantage I was wildin on record off record deals tell them talk to column for the quote on record off record eyes the one thing that I'm doing is making sure I pay attention to which surface you guys are gonna see or which surface anyone's gonna see so the cleanest part of the rag is gonna be used towards the face of the caliper uh, what I mean by face is just the front side um, and then moving backwards to uh, the other parts of the caliper where you're really not going to see that much but we're going to paint them anyways just to make sure it's nice and uniform so this being the last caliper we got tim over here having a good time shaking shaking away and uh, we're ready to paint or actually we're ready to primer first uh, we'll do about two to three coats of primer with about five to ten minutes in between each one and about 20 minutes after that, we'll start the painting process for the gloss black. And we'll probably do three to four coats of gloss black um, every five to 10 minutes or so. Uh, coat number one is done, so now we'll wait just about five minutes and then we'll go on to coat number two. There goes coat number two. I think we're gonna do one more coat of the primer, so we'll wait five minutes. Repeat this process one more time, and then we're gonna move on to the gloss black. has just arrived. It's not for the VR4, but it's a very good one. I'm very excited about this one. Let's see what's in here. Oh, baby. These, <laughs> yeah, boy. These are custom air struts for the RX-8 project. Damn, that's a monster bag. Let's see because they reutilized the struts that came on the car, which are actually really yes. nice. See how they modified this too? To Whoa. fit the fitting. Power Tricks struts with UAS bag. Universal air suspension bag. Hold that. Oh, it's beastly. It's, it's not any heavier than the coil no. over. There you go. Looks way cooler. Wait a minute, what is this box? Whoa. Those are the fronts. These are the fronts here. All right, so I want to say a huge thank you to Zach over at UAS, Universal Air Strut. Um, we actually are a retailer of these, these guys, so that's pretty cool. If you guys, if you don't see an application for struts, UAS can actually make them for pretty much any car, which is pretty cool. Yeah, what's cool is they actually, like we said, actually took our existing coilovers, which we really like the dampening on and everything, damping on, 
and actually just bagged our, our existing coils. So I don't think that's something they typically do. They usually have their own struts attached, but since this wasn't an application that they had and we were in such a hurry, they turned these around in what, like two days for us? Yeah, less than a week. So don't expect that all the time, but they are a small company and they aim to please, which is oh. awesome. And here's Those our factory stuff, which we don't need anymore. Thanks, these are already pre-adjusted for us and everything. Yeah, we're ready to go. We just slap them in the car and air a thing up. Very if you cool. want, we could literally put those in and put, I have those fittings, the shaders. Oh, we have no, I'm gonna save that for another video. You guys are gonna have to subscribe if you wanna see that. But soon enough, as soon as the this thing's gonna be we can actually finish this bad boy. Yep. All right, so a little while has passed and our calipers are drying. Um, so I've kind of reset them here and over here and they're looking pretty good. Definitely looking good. I still need to brush off the letters, but I want to make sure that everything is super dry before I do that, just in case I make a mistake or I touch something, I don't want it to smudge or smear the paint or whatever. So I am going to leave the shop now. It's getting kind of late. In the morning, we're gonna pick this back up. We're gonna shave the letters off. If there's any blemishes or anything, we'll see if we can touch them up or whatever. Here we go, ready? We're gonna do some time travel in three, two, one, 